Hello everybody. If you remember last summer, summer before, whenever, we drove a Corvette Stingray to Area 51. So I was thinking about doing something else like that and I'm down here in Daytona for the Daytona Rolex 24. And I got on Turo and found what to me is my gold car. Not like my dream car, because dream car is a car like if you won the lottery you win. A gold car is a car that one day I hope to be able to financially have. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to drive to Jacksonville because there's an abandoned hovercraft research facility up there that I'm gonna try and do a little exploring of. But I know you're wondering, what did I get? What did I rent? Well, I rented this guy. If you know me, I'm a Nissan fanatic. Um, and this is like top level Nissan to me. It's past the level of being Nissan. This should be an infinity. Um, hopefully after the queue, this is a car that I get. Um, so I'm gonna spend a day driving it, not only for my personal experience, but like I said, I'm getting some awesome footage. But first, let's enjoy some Dunkin' Donuts and some donuts, and then we'll get on the road. All right, everybody, I'm gonna tell you what we're doing. So there's an abandoned air park here just outside Jacksonville. It used to be Lee Airfield. It was a army airfield, and then it was turned over to the city of Green Springs and it's just kind of been abandoned. There's apparently one full um, airfield there that they still use. There was also a company named Atlas Hovercraft that used it to develop a hovercraft they were gonna use as a ferry, but then they kind of ditched the idea and abandoned the hovercraft. So I'm gonna see if I can get to the hovercraft because I wanna see if it's still there, what st state it's in, everything. But the other thing I wanted to come here and see was this. So what this is, is if you remember when they used to take shuttles up into space you had the shuttle and then the fuselage and then the two brown rockets on the side that had fuel containers on them that's one of those fuel containers so what happened was apparently it landed somewhere near here and they put it on this trailer to somehow get it to here so they could load it onto a barge to get it back to cape canaveral nasa wherever they were going to take it so they're going to put it on a barge well, then they figured out they, A, from what I've read online, there's multiple stories, whatever, I've read online that they couldn't, A, find a barge that would hold it, and B, they didn't have a way to get it from the trailer to the barge. So now it just sits here on this trailer and it's there like forever. So I don't know, I'm gonna drive by it. And then if you go back up that way is the air park, you can see Reynolds Air Park. I'm gonna try and find the, um, hovercraft but there we go how random is that i just happened i missed the airport turned around and there it's sitting so the gentleman there informed me that actually what happened was it fell in the water and then they got it to here and they can't get it out of here because there's obviously no way to get it down the road so they're just going to leave it and it is the fuselage fuel tank off the space shuttle that's and it's just chilling this is crazy so i'm going to put one of my stickers on it <laughs> So, and then he said that you can get to the hovercraft. He said, you just have to park and walk. He said, there's no security, no nothing. So I gave him one of my stickers. Heck yeah, check out this video. If you're watching this video, man, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, but I'm gonna, like I said, put a sticker on there and then we're gonna go on down the road a little bit. Apparently this is like a Coast Guard training facility because there's like Coast Guard, you can see the helicopter right there. I don't know if you can see it real well, but it's there. And one flew out that way. And uh, so we're gonna go over there. What's crazy was there was some abandoned, like uh, all kinds of abandoned stuff. So I'm gonna drive around here a little bit, get some footage, and then we'll go from there. Guys, this place is insane. Like there are abandoned rail cars, there's an abandoned truck. There's abandoned equipment. There is an, aban an abandoned naval research plane and the hovercraft. I found the hovercraft. So there's a gate right there. I really don't want to take a chance on driving back in there. The gate's just wide open though. What I'm gonna do is pull over here there's a business right there. I'm gonna ask them, be like, hey, cause it's in their backyard, be like, hey, if I go back there and take some pictures and some video, is anybody gonna call the cops? Am I gonna get arrested? Am I gonna get shot? Cause this did used to be a naval base. 
So I'm gonna see what all is here. Oh my God, I'm so hyped. Let's see what all this equipment down here is that's abandoned. There's just stuff everywhere here. It's just abandoned railroad tracks, um, abandoned railroad cars that are just parked with no tracks under them, abandoned equipment here. Look, there's old abandoned cars over there. Those are like, almost like um, commuter, like public cars. Non potable water. See, there's actually a few businesses back up in here. Gotta love them carbon ceramic brakes, huh? See, some of this stuff still is very, as you can tell, very active, but then back the further you get, the worse it gets. Three seventy Z. Wonder if these people are looking for the same thing I'm looking for. This is pretty cool, this old abandoned cars here. North Florida Railway Museum. I don't think it's very open. Wow. I don't think that's been open in a long time. See, there's the Naval Research Plane and the Atlas Hovercraft. I just have to figure out how to get there. from here. I have to figure out how to get there from here. I'm wondering, there's a business right here, Premier Surface Design. I'm wondering if I can just drive back in there. I think these people are doing the same thing I'm doing. See, that says no trespassing, so I'm afraid to just go back in there. But I wonder if I went in there and just asked them, said, hey, is it cool if I just walk back there and shoot some video and then leave? I mean, the worst they can do is say no, right? I think I would need to go the other way. But there it is, oh boy. Let me see what I can do. All right, so I talked to that guy in that WRX. He said the port had been cracking down on it. He said, but if I just get in here and kind of in and out real quick, nobody's gonna say anything. He said everybody over here was leaving. So I'm just gonna like run in, shoot some footage, and then run back out. Hopefully they don't close the gate on me. Uh, so he's actually a local Subaru guy. And there was a girl following me earlier, Subaru. So he said there's a local Subaru scene here in Jacksonville or Green Springs or wherever. Should ask him where everybody met up at tonight. All right, so what this is, this is a Naval Research Plane. He said the port was the one cracking down on this, so I just gotta watch out for the port. Uh, Naval research plane. This is crazy that this is here. John Onchman, Clay County Port. Man, there's the Atlas hovercraft. This is crazy. So, definitely not gonna drive the GTR back here. Check this out. Man, look at this thing. So what this is, I'll explain to you what this is, is they were gonna design this hovercraft as a ferry to take people across the river. And they got to this stage of it, I think this is fiberglass, it said. Yeah, resin. And they got to this stage of it and then they lost all the funding, everything just shut down. The guy, a lot of people say it was a scheme, like a scam just to get money. Uh, but it got to this, stage they never put engines or anything on it any form of propulsion anything like that um apparently that's a piece of it too that's supposed to be like the induction this is the rear i would do believe that's the 
So this is absolutely crazy that they just dipped, like left this. This is crazy. This is absolutely totally bonkers. So a Naval Research Plane, Lieutenant Commander Justin Psycho Ward, and they just put it on basically cross ties. I'd say they took up from over there and left it, anchored it down on the front so it wouldn't blow up, air go in and blow it up. This is crazy. Well, we're already this far. Screw it. Oh my God. If you notice there's, an... let's see what we can do here. I'd say this is where the air, obviously these are your air turbines. Oh my God, look at the portholes. Look at this, oh my gosh. I cannot flip and believe this. It's crazy there's like newer stuff here that's abandoned. Satellite dish, a RAV4. Look at this, oh my gosh, guys. I am not gonna try and go upstairs because it is wooden stairs. And I'm also afraid that that would collapse and then I would be. This is insane. I'm gonna cut it off for a minute and call Mindy real quick. And then I'll get some more footage real quick and then I'm gonna get out of here. This whole abandoned naval yard. I'm nervous because like I said, the port's been kicking people out. There's getting water down in there. I'm not going down there. I'm not going upstairs either. Oh my gosh, this is insane that this is just here. I'm not gonna mess around out here too much. Um, Cause I'm afraid I'm gonna get locked in. But worst come to worst, I can go out that gate right there. There's a gate right over there I can go out. Um, I'm trying not to get like nasty slimy. Man. I wonder if I can get upstairs, if there's a way to get upstairs. Plus it's starting to get dark and I've got to go back to Daytona tonight. Oh, there is a set of stairs. Oh, Let's do it. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This would have been, I bet, your cockpit. So I bet that was the front. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Ugh, it's getting filled up with water. Oh my gosh, I bet this was gonna be your cockpit. That way you go out front and tie off and stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this. Been a dead fish or bug or something. Dead, I do believe it's dead fish. This would have probably been your captain's quarters or like a man, I don't even know. Look at this, and then they just left it. It's absolutely crazy. And then all that's, I'm gonna get there and ring some donuts at the GTR. I am gonna drive around a little bit more, see if there's anything else crazy abandoned here. But I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna go back, get a sticker, come back. I'm going to put a sticker on that wall. That way the next person that's here, if anybody else is here, will know that I was here and to check out the channel. So I'm hype. This was something I'd wanted to do. Been talking about for months. So at least the dude was honest with me. He said, hey man, if you're going to do it, do it and be quick. Um, I was hoping to drive the GTR out here, but if the dude was honest with me enough to let me tell me, hey man, don't drive your car out there. You know what I mean? I am not gonna get in there because that's the type of stuff that would get me in trouble. So, that's pretty cool, Naval Research Plane. And they just left this. You would think the government, well, after what happened in Afghanistan, we really don't wanna say a whole lot about government waste. So, I'm gonna run back, grab a sticker or two, and then go out here, put them on there, and then we're gonna head on down the road. Those are like old, like, 
cruise ships and like all kinds of stuff. And I don't know if they're being like repaired. It says that it's a repair yard, but I don't know if they're repairing them, if they're breaking them. And if you look here, Some of them, if you look like, are kind of new looking and look like they've been repaired. Some of them don't have masks. Some of them don't have anything. Some don't have like a cabin, I guess you would say. Like even out here, like these are just chilling. Like we've got the masts or the bows. Like, I don't know if they're supposed to be longer than that. I don't know a whole lot about sailboats, but I can tell you that these are not like in any shape they're not seaworthy is what i sh should say like some of these are old looking like that one's a dual hole i've never seen a dull, dual hole boat like that and then there's another dual hole like it's just weird i guess this is basically just a scrap yard but what's funny is some of these like there's a guy on that one it's got a flag on it like are these boats that are just stored for the winter are people living on these like there's a dude on that one with a flag and a dog. Like, is somebody living there? Like, and then out there, the, you know, those are old cruise ship, trade winds cruise ships that still have lights on them. Are they being repaired? Like, what's the story? Like, this is just odd. So I don't, this whole place is just weird to me because I don't know. I'm sure if I talked to the locals or stayed down here longer, I could figure it out. But uh, I have to drive back to, We'll head up to Jacksonville, and then I'm going to head back to Daytona tonight because the race is in the morning, and I have to take the GTR back tomorrow. But man, you could spend... This is one of the things where you just need to find somebody who's local that knows and just sit down and talk to them and be like, man, tell me what's going on here. Like, what is all this stuff? Like, what's this? What's this? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, what, what are these? Like, these pieces of... A, appear to me to be a pieces of a bridge and you've got like boat, boat holes here and boat holes there and you know it's just it's so crazy to look at this stuff and it's just basically abandoned well we successfully drove the gtr to the abandoned air park today that was a pretty cool trip that's something i've been wanting to do for a while just drive you saw we drove the corvette to area 51 that was pretty cool GTR, like I said, is my goal car. I want to drive it. Um, we made it to the hovercraft and the abandoned um, airfield, I guess you would say. This is crazy because all this stuff is just abandoned and all this stuff is just like broke down like there's some guy here living in a camper. Like I just don't, it blows my mind that they just abandoned all this stuff. Like that's literally like US Naval research just sitting there they just left it in the 50s like i just don't i don't understand you know what i mean so i just don't get it why would they have not taken that with them or scrapped it or something just ditch it you know and it's like atlas hovercraft design they just left it all that money and they just left it like where was there was this their building or was that their building or because it had to be here somewhere in order for it to be there you know what i mean i just don't none of this makes any sense to me i don't understand abandoned stuff a lot of times like people just abandon stuff and it just doesn't make any sense you know so well i think my battery's getting ready to die beeping at me so i will talk to you guys later thanks for watching and if you've got any other suggestions or any cool abandoned places you think I should go, let me know. Um, or a car you'd like me to see drive somewhere. Anything on Turo I can rent, I will rent and we'll go from there. Thanks everybody.